It was just awful, the way they named that variable. What was it called? It's too upsetting to say. Go ahead, let it all out. Well, it was just a single letter. A. You see, the problem with single letter variable names is they're just not descriptive. It might seem like a good idea when you've got the code logic in your head, but anyone else who tries to understand your code is going to feel lost. Later on, you'll learn how to fix these mistakes with my three-step variable naming formula. But first, let's talk about my most hated variable naming strategy, the acronym. What's an acronym? OMG, LMG TFY. And yes, not everyone knows the acronyms related to searching Google, so it's fair to assume not everyone who reads your code understands your acronyms. ARM, come on, it's the Application Repository Manager. Duh. Even if you and your colleagues understand the acronyms, what about later on when another team takes over? What the hell? Maybe right now you're thinking these mistakes aren't that bad. My friend, it's about to get much worse, so hold on tight. Ever see these kind of non-descriptive words used for a variable name? This came from a developer who was just too damn lazy to bother. Like we didn't already know it was a string. Or how about this? Oh, I'm sorry, it just makes me so angry. Let's see who did this. Oh. Maybe I'm not the developer I thought I was. I guess we all make mistakes. Okay, let's move on from this and try to do better next time, together. But before we do that, here's one more faux pas that we need to address. It's the I'm going to reassign this variable to something completely different mistake. Even though the original variable name might have been half decent, when it gets reassigned to a completely different purpose, the name becomes meaningless. Misleading. Dangerous even. If we're going to save the puppies, we need a new variable here. Maybe even throw in a final keyword so this doesn't happen again. And in case you're wondering where I found this code, I won't name any names, but let's just say I've got my eye on you, Bob. And now for my fully recommended and gold starred TMVNF. Oh yeah, sorry, Tom's magic variable naming formula. Step one is to get into the mind of a developer who's looking at your code base for the first time. As an emotionless automaton, I find this step quite tricky. Try to imagine that you've got no idea of what this code is about. Step two is to come up with a descriptive variable name that will most help this poor developer to understand its purpose. Don't worry about going over the top because in step three, we engage our logical brain to compact this name into a format that's most digestible without losing any of the meaning. That might involve swapping words around to avoid the use of prepositions like of or simplifying entire phrases. Using this formula, we can easily rewrite the variable names from earlier in a simple to understand way. But don't forget the important third step, otherwise you might end up with another variable naming mistake of having overly wordy names. They take forever to read and go off the side of the screen into oblivion. But by no means is this list exhaustive, so leave a comment to let me know what's your pet peeve when it comes to variable naming.